To explain the workings of dust storms and sandstorms, we begin by defining the difference between them. Proper sandstorms occur when there is actual sand in the air, which means that they usually occur around the sandy desert regions of the world, most noticeably around the Sahara Desert and the Arabian Peninsula. Sand grains are larger and heavier than dust, and as a result, generally cannot be carried as high into the air. The heaviest particles are blown just above the ground level. Engine damage caused by dust and sand, is consistent with damage caused by other kinds of foreign object damage. Ingestion of dust and sand particles, coats the components with a thin layer of a glass-like substance, once these particles melt. It can also lead to erosion of moving parts such as compressor blades, turbine blades and partial or complete blockage of fuel nozzles. During ground operations in dust storm or sandstorm environment, various precautions can be taken to mitigate the effect of dust. As mentioned before, reversers should be used as scarcely as possible. Use of APU should be minimized, with ground supply, if available, used for air conditioning and electricity. Remember that the presence of dust decreases the braking performance, so the aircraft will behave differently on the ground.